So yeah, we are getting ready for the garage sale. My husband's coming home soon and we're gonna be loading up the truck. Um, I have boxes all over. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a hint of what it looks like. Um, it's mess. And there's Rupert. Oh, there's Sasha. It's our, our foster dog. Yeah, Sasha's a good pup. Now to the basement. I am really hoping this all fits into the back of our pickup. Pickup's not real reliable, so I'm hoping I actually even just get down to Nebraska. But more later when the garage sale, sale starts. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of Janssen, Nebraska, where my garage sale is. We're walking up on the village of Janssen's town hall. My daughter is actually on the board here for a couple more months and then she, she's been on for a couple of years. It's time for her to move on. But here's the town hall. While she was on the board, they were able to paint the water tower, which I love. I love the font of the, of the name. I'd have to walk way around to get it, but pretty little flowers. They were able to um, put sidewalks on Main Street, which I think was a big improvement. To show you how small Jansen is, it still has a telephone booth. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Across the street, there is the Farmer and Merchants Bank, uh, the post office, of course, some empty buildings, unfortunately, every small town. And then our friend, Matt and Gina's Big Deal Mini Storage. Used to be an antique store and I would go there often. Across, oh, do you hear that? Yes, they blow that siren every day, like at eight, noon, and six, I think. Isn't that wonderful? Definitely small town when that happens. Okay, over here was like the big draw to Jansen in the day. Smitty's Furniture and Appliance. Um, there was this little bar and grill on the corner, which is, of course, since shut down. But Jansen is right on the highway going through on the Trail of Treasures. Huge elevators here, too. So now I'm going to take you inside and show you all of the merchandise we have. And here she comes, the last haul of the morning. Some lawn mowers. We are just about ready to open. It's a long night setting up, but we did it. <laughs> That's my daughter, Tiffany. So here is the VFW Legion Hall of Janssen. Luckily, we were able to get this. We had first planned we were going to have to have it at Tiffany's Garage, but this is gonna work out so much better. And inside, we are all set up. Look at this a garage sale. We have everything from Halloween costumes to bags, to toys and books. Um, over here is a little table set up by Tiffany's friend Matt and Gina that has a lot of vintage and antique items on it. Um, it's supposed to be tra Trail of Treasures. There's a 200 mile yard sale. So yeah, pretty big yard sale. I kind of wish I was going instead of having one, but I do need to get rid of things. So you can just see the variety of things that we have. So many items. And we are hoping to get a good turnout and get a lot of this stuff sold. Oh, and we may have our first customers. So we will be back later. Okay, we are around lunchtime now. We've sold quite a few things. Um, 
Of course, we want to get rid of more. There was a point in time where I actually, my legs hurt. I had to sit down for a while. Um, I'm hoping we have a full day yet tomorrow. Hopefully that will bring more people in and on a Saturday. I don't know, but we hope. And then my daughter is out there. I'm going to go film her. She's reading a book. She needs to get busy. <laughs> no, we don't have anybody here right now. We have lunch ordered and it's on its way. And there she is, hard working. Trying to sell her lawnmowers. <laughs> Make me an offer. <laughs> so we are on day two of the garage sale. We came early and kind of consolidated things. We were able to get rid of one whole table. It, it really did well yesterday. Um, people were here early and bought some of the bigger things. So that cleared up a lot of stuff. And let's hope that day two is as good as day one and the farm set just sold and went to a great family with some grandchildren. So this is the end of our sale. It's all over, it's done with. We're packing up and I'll be heading back to South Dakota tomorrow. But it was a good one. I'm gonna zoom around and show you what's left. Bush light. <laughs> I'm having one too. watching we'll see you next week so we wanted to tell you a little update about the lawnmowers she wanted to sell the lawnmowers really bad the riding lawnmower didn't sell but the push mower did and the story behind that is in May she had a bunch of items stolen out of her garage including the lawnmower um, she did get them all returned by the sheriff's department and he did confirm that it was her next door neighbor that had taken it all. Then, who shows up at the garage sale to buy the, the lawnmower that she had stolen in May? That's right, the next door neighbor. You just can't make this stuff up. This next video clip is of a woodchuck chasing us back into the Legion Hall. I don't think he was really chasing us. I think he had a house or a home next door in the abandoned bar and we just happened to be in his path. But it's pretty funny, hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm going in again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey guys, just an update. I don't think I ever told you what we made at the garage sale. I made right around 400. My daughter made more than I did. Um, she had some bigger items, but nonetheless, I got rid of a lot of stuff. I've been purging and organizing and trying to get my Etsy shop um, in order. That's going to be on an upcoming video. None of the stuff came home. I should say very few items came home with me. It was all redonated. Uh, the very best part, though, of course, was spending time with my daughter and grandkids. We had a great weekend. Also, I lived in that area for about seven years. We moved down there in 1999, and I made some good friends, and I got to see a few of those. Um, 
I also was able to do a little yard sale shopping and did pick up a few things and you'll probably see those as they sell. Uh, Trail of Treasures seems to be a great 200 mile yard sale. So maybe I'll do the sale itself next year. So I just wanted to give you that bit of an update. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.